There they are. Get back, you two. I'll take care of them. Leon, protect Kizzy. Got it. They'll have to take Kizzy over my cold, dead body! They vanish! <laughs> You? I was just passing by. No, you weren't. Mizuki, they're using optical camouflage. Use thermo mode. Right. I can see their body heat signatures. Wait, how did you know that? I guess. No, you didn't. Oh, hold up. That's my bike. Could you at least ask? Mizuki, I think you have it wrong. What do you mean? I got it on the internet. Ugh. Anyway. Let's go. These chicks, the bitch Avengers or something? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, stronger than Black Window, that's for sure. Uh, uh, let's get out of here. Uh. Thanks. You helped me out again. No, don't worry about it. So, what's going on here? <sighs> Guess it's time to let the cat out of the bag. The NASA glue loses its hold over time. Big sis! Nice seeing you again, Kizuna. Quartz? Please stop calling me that. Hold on. I'm trying to process this. Kizzy and Leon? You know her? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, stuff happened, and... Stuff happened? <laughs> Fine. Whatever. I'll think about it later. What I want to know is... Your face. We can talk about it all later. More importantly, Kizzy and Leon, you need to get out of here. Those guys might come back with reinforcements. Oh. Right. You can use my bike. There's a helmet under the seat. The keys are still in the ignition. Uh, are you certain this is okay? No, but just give it back as soon as you can, okay? I can't thank you enough for this. Kizzy, hold on tight. Okay. Do you know where you're going? Well... To the ends of the Earth. All right. Let's go! Off 
they go. They'll be fine. Huh? What's wrong? What isn't wrong? Fair enough. Can we talk? Yeah, but before that... We need to get rid of those guys. They did not appear to even notice Kizuna and Lian escaping. These guys are idiots. We can't let them follow them. We gotta take them down. So let's go, Mizuki. Mizuki! Ugh, damn it! I don't get anything that's happening, but fine. You and I are gonna talk about everything after we're through with this. Fine by me. Well then, let's start. Yeah! Hey, about Kizzy. Are you sure she's okay? Don't worry. I made sure she's fine. So, that makes us... sisters? We're not the same age, but we're like identical twins. We have almost the same genes. That's crazy. I'm a copy of you. Don't say it like that. But I'm your clone, right? Technically, yes. But our DNA isn't exactly the same. My genome was rearranged. Your DNA was modified on top of that, which is why you don't have the symptoms I have. Basically, you're an upgrade. The perfect version of me. Don't say it like that. Yeah, the same as me. When I was six, you were born at Horadori Institute and sent here. I'm guessing they thought it was too difficult to raise you at the Institute. I remember the day you arrived like it was yesterday. You were still a baby. But the moment I saw you, I got this feeling. I started bawling my eyes out. The people at the facility didn't know we were related. Makes sense. They were told we were from two different places. But we are both named Mizuki and we looked really similar. So to make it easier, everyone started calling me Big Sis. They called you, Mizuki. They took me to Horadori Institute every so often for examinations. Well, I say examinations. I mean human experiments. I don't think you remember, but they did terrible things. I remember getting shots with needles as big as boba straws. My time with Horadori Institute ended when I was nine and you were three. It shut down and we were finally free. That's about the time you were adopted by the Okiura family. But me? Well, I told you about me, right? You were blind in one eye and had a heart condition. Right, so it was hard to find a family who would take me. Ultimately, it was Mr. Chieda, the chairman. So when you were nine, you were adopted by... The Chiedas. I spent the next six years there. Up until I was 15, I lived under the same roof as Kizuna. I see. That's why she called me Big Sis. You said something about an eccentric woman? Yeah. I was adopted by her. Do you mean... Shizue Kuranushi. Boss. Which is why my name is Mizuki Kuranushi now. 
You think that sounds kind of lame, huh? No, it's not that. You know how we're stronger than everybody else? Maybe she thought I'd come in handy. So she wanted to make you work for her. I don't know if that's the truth, but that's what she told me. Boss taught me how to fight. After she adopted me, she trained me hard every day. Six years ago, when I was 18, I was hired as a top secret member of Abyss. Boss wanted someone who she could rely on. Someone who would never betray her. She trusted me to handle the most sensitive situations. Basically, I'm like a ninja. Well, a kunoichi. Which is why my existence at Abyss had been hidden. The only people who know are Boss, Pewter, and Ryuki. Ryuki? Why? I wonder... If I revealed myself to you, you would want to know everything. In one way or another, you'd find out. You'd find out that your genes were spliced. That your real parents aren't Renju and Shoko. I didn't want you to end up like me. I wanted you to live a normal life. As normal as possible, anyway. Get a normal job, a normal husband, get married, start a family, live happily ever after. A life like that. But if I showed up, I would ruin all that. That's what I thought, at least. I see. But why didn't you tell me seven years ago in November? I was already well on my way to an abnormal life at that point. <laughs> Maybe that's true. It's like I told you. I want to know who did this to me. I know that Chikara was the mastermind. But I want solid proof. That's why I was investigating him and his institute. But then, out of the blue, he gets killed. That's why I started following the HB case. You have seen and heard cannot be shared with anyone. If you do, I will kill her. I have an abundant amount of money. Even if I were to die, the assassins I've hired would still find her. I see. That's why you didn't talk about what happened six years ago. But I think it's okay to start talking now. Why? I was able to freeze all of Terror's hidden accounts. We don't need to worry about any assassins anymore. I but you don't remember anything from February six years ago, do you? I do not. My body was destroyed in the explosion at the cathedral. The Abyss communication network was also offline, so there was no backup taken. By the way, I'm curious. Why were we given the same name? I don't know. Maybe they didn't really care about the name. But wouldn't that make it harder to tell us apart at the Institute? Ah, uh, I don't think they had any trouble. We had code names at Horidori Institute. I was Mouse, and you were Rabbit. And you remember what they called us at Iowin, right? You were Big Sis, and I was Mizuki. Yeah. Is that what I called you? No. You were still little. You couldn't talk much. You just called me Bibi. BB? Yeah. BB, huh? Anyway, we've already spent enough time here. We shouldn't be wasting time like this. Good point. There's still tons we don't know about the HB case. Follow me. I want to show you something. Huh? What is it? Oh, no. It's nothing. Let's go, BB.
I used Marco's x-ray function. Marco? The name of my AI ball in my left eye. He's pretty shy. He doesn't talk much. Unlike someone else I know. Excuse me, are you talking about me? Mm-hmm. I know Iba really well. We were partners six years ago. When I was hired at Abyss, I was supposed to get Marco transplanted into my left eye. But he wasn't finished yet. So instead, I got Iba. But Iba and Date. Yeah, Iba and Date were kind of fighting at the time. And I needed to see if I was compatible with an AI ball at all, so... I see. I apologize. I do not remember anything from back then. Because of the explosion, right? Yes. It's kind of sad. I made so many memories with you, Iva. Um... Well, you see, I, I was so preoccupied with my work. No. It was because you tried watching VR porn while Iva was still in your left eye. That does sound like something that would make me very angry. I told you a million times it was just a watermelon splitting video. 